Continuing along the theme of Stone's Tryst with D minor, today we are doing Bone China by Mother Love Bone for Mud Hungry Guitar, Randy Dill 1981, who's having a good week, and Lamb 1225. Now, why are we doing this? I mean, of course, Stone is the guitar player for Pearl Jam, but let's not pigeonhole him. He's got many facets to his creativity, and also, I'd be willing to bet, in addition to a kitchen, he's got at least a couple bathrooms in his house, so he's got many faucets as well. He's a man with many facets and many faucets. On with Bone China. All right, step one, pointer finger on G5, and we want the open D string. So hammer on from G5 to seven, and then give it two more strums. Now grab D, B6 and pull off to five, and then G7. Do that move twice. Then B5, six, five, G7, 5. So. And the second half is, starts the same, but B6, 5, G7, 5. And the whole thing. tends to happen, the riff simplifies itself just a little bit. When the singing starts, start your same way with your hammer on and your open D. And now we're going to do the walk down, but do yourself a favor and put your pointer finger all the way across G, B, and E on the fifth fret and do your walk down. B6, 5, G7, there it is. <laughs> now put your middle finger back on B6 and strum four strings and then take your middle finger off. Thusly. And then the second time, and the fourth time, and the sixth time, and the eighth time, it's just the walk down. Going into the chorus after your give it some more, it gets excited, and you give it some more on that open D and G strings fifth fret, and then you just do the riff. With those excited strums at the end of it, and uh, yeah, the difference is you just, you just pluck harder. Je Jeff's bass line is really cool there. He goes D, so you can sort of play along in this fashion for fun. Do a D octave chord, so A5 and G7, that's our octave shape, and I'm gonna call out this fret. He goes five, eight, three, two, chorus. Except for come again, come again, he does his hammer on, and he just hangs on that G string 7th fret. It's a very brief segment. <laughs> it just occurred to me that we should have our guitars in drop D for this part, and the whole part, it just hasn't mattered up until now. So, grab a C power chord, that's the 5th fret of the 3rd fret of the A string, and we're gonna go up to D, the 5th fret of the A string. So... The song has now changed into D major, sort of, except for that C note, but nobody's thinking about that. So, awesome lowness there, and the tinkly fun is E5. This is where I'm comfortable doing it. You could find a way to do it here, but I'm going to go E5, B7, G7, G5. There's that pesky C note again. G4, 2, grab E3, E2, and then rejoin the, uh, the the low action there if you if you care to, or you could just hang on. You could just play the D, or you do both. Oh, not that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, whatever. Get the idea, and that part turns into A minor. We're gonna do a little mini A minor bar chord here. Five, five, five on G, B, E, and uh, seven on D. 
down to G minor, exact same shape, but two frets lower. And then regular old D with some some sus4, sus2, third fret open on the baby E string action. Just kind of do your favorite thing there to... And that's that part. On with the listening. And that's all the pieces to Bone China. We did it so much with just a few, just a few pieces. My favorite part is when it gets more intense. What's your favorite part? <laughs> thank you so much for that request, gentlemen, and thank you all for joining me for day three of Stone Week. This has been a lovely time so far, and it will continue to be a lovely time. I will see you next time for a lovely time. <laughs>